What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge update as we now have the corruption of Attorney General Merrick Garland finally catching up to him in its newest update. You got Trump's lawyer, Alina Haba, coming forth, revealing his plans against Donald Trump and his spot as president later on this year. Guys, we've been saying it all along. I'm excited to see exactly what she's discovered. So I'm going to get straight into the news and I'll get my thoughts on the back end, guys. So definitely stick around to the end. So you guys get my thoughts on the back end. And also YouTube pushes this video out. Definitely stick around until the end, you guys. So let's get straight into the news. Before we can do that, though, make sure you guys hit that like button for me and also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Oh, let's get into it, y'all. Alina Hubbard comes out with this new information, making these uh, interesting spin on Merrick Garland that I hadn't heard before. I think there she's kind of hinting at a new investigation and maybe new evidence and a new front on Garland. Well, welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. We're longtime fans of Alina Haba and Trump's entire legal team. But here she is with a little peek clip from her at Turning Point USA, TP USA, which I'm not a big fan of the organization, but you know, they, they do some good work. And this was a woman's thing they did so that she's all dressed in pink. So uh, listen to this. We are the fiercest warriors. And with courage and determination, we can overcome anything. Be a savage. Be a savage. Uh, that's a message to women that it's not a, a lack of femininity to be savage. Uh, and I agree with that. I've seen you back a woman mama bear up against the wall. And I mean mama bear even being protective of her children or her country. And uh, she's right. Women, you can be savage. Also, meek and mild is uh, another trait. No, she she's fallen on her fanny since the very beginning. <laughs> her arrogance, her demeanor has been incredibly telling. It's very uh, much the typical coordinated, as we know, as you mentioned earlier in your show, with the Biden administration move. Now, I had uh, this is an interesting connection she makes that Fonnie Willis, who is arrogant and fell on her fanny, but her arrogance comes from the confidence of being the tip of the spear on this coordinated effort. So, you know, her her dismissal of everyone and the way she connects herself in court is probably because she knows that she's backed by Biden and Merrick Garland and the U.S. government corruptly and secretly. Even more news that's just coming in as we're going. The for the for This is the documents case. Judge Cannon down in Florida is now considering whether Jack Smith's appointment the, to the special counsel was even legal at all because he was right. a civilian. There was no Senate confirmation. That's right. Merrick Garland just poof, created a position. So now we're going to move over to Merrick Garland creating this position for Jack Smith. They did not run Jack Smith through the normal appointment and, and approval process. Merrick Garland just ran him in there. This is going to start all, I've said this for a long time, Merrick Garland is the bag man. It's like all of them lead to him and you kind of go, wow, he's he's kind of doe-eyed and he's and he seems gentle and stuff. No, he is the guy who Biden, who probably orchestrated it and brought the plan to Biden. Biden okayed it. But the actual bag man is the Department of Justice and is Merrick Garland. He Just all the arrows point to him. He's the axle in the wheel. All the spokes point to him. I think one of the things he's just got to do is got to go in there and absolutely clean house. But yes, at, you know, at, at some level, these are all state prosecutors. And Merrick Garland yesterday was like, oh, that's an independent office. And hmm. Matt Gates was like, I know it's an independent office, but I want to know if you spoke with him. And he wouldn't answer the question. I know. I saw that. Yeah, he could have answered the question. We did a video on that already that Merrick Garland would not answer Matt Gates. Look for that. He has fire on him. It's called, I think we called it pants on fire it was the thumbnail. Look for that one. But yeah, Merrick Garland would not answer if he's been in communication with Bonnie Willis, Alvin Bragg, Letitia James. He could have just made a clear no. He did not say a clear no. So this is their specialty. They try and say, oh, well, I believe what Merrick Garland said was, hey, Matt, why don't you put a request into the DOJ and we'll decide what we're going to do about yeah. that. Yeah, okay. It's a very simple question. Have you spoken to them? Have you spoken yes to no. them? The answer is yes. Yeah, she knows his answer should have been yes. But why didn't he say no? Why didn't he deny it? She's going to give the information here on why he gave that convoluted article, uh, answer because he could have lied and just said no. Then he'd be in trouble. The answer is 100%. Well, you yes, have the White House if it was No, then, then shut us down, us conspiracy theorists, us crazy MAGA Republicans that don't do anything but hate this. We love our country, yeah. and our country is based on transparency. It's based on the DOJ not being weaponized. And the DOJ is weaponized by him, and he's he's... 
He uses, this is weird. The government is so complicated. There's a thousand ways to lie, obfuscate, look over there. And man Merrick Garland knows all the ins and outs of every excuse. And not having a dual judicial system. That is America. And the man wouldn't answer the question that would completely implicate him. And I have some news for you. If and when President Trump wins in November, we will get to the bottom of all of that. Wouldn't answer the question because it would implicate him. See, if he said no, now he could face time in jail if he lied before them in this uh, investigation. So he was not able to say no. If he didn't have conversations with uh, Bonnie uh, Willis, if he really didn't in truth, he would have answered no. So if he doesn't answer no, the answer is yes, he did it. Alina Haba is saying they're going after him when Trump wins. And I agree with that. He does. You hear us throw around the words, oh, they got to go to jail. They got to go to jail. Some of these top tier people, they're a level of um, conspiracy and corruption. I mean, Juan Merchon, and I would definitely put Merrick Garland in this uh, category. They do need to go to jail for what they did. They need to be investigated, removed, and absolutely prosecuted, thrown in jail. And I'm, and I'm all for it. If that's Trump revenge, or if that's so oh, Trump's going to be a dictator for life, whatever. No, that's simple justice. Do the investigation. Kick the bum out. You unappoint him, appoint another attorney general and run the entire legal system in your favor. Get that case out of D.C. so you don't have to deal with a, a jury of his peers. You don't want a bunch of Democrats in D.C. That's why they're all all the Democrats in D.C. They want Hunter Biden's gun case to go over there. And they do because they have a sympathetic judge, sympathetic jury. They all know the Bidens for you know his hundred year career. Here's uh, the rest of Lena Haba in that uh that TP USA speech that she gave that we started with. They only call me names because I'm effective. Ding dong, right. She's effective. Those of us who are effective, you get some heat. I get some hatred down in the comments. That's fine. I can take it. It's because I'm effective. To those of you who have give, uh, paid compliments and given us a thumbs up, so many of you have donated and you've subscribed you're my favorite people in the world yo there we have you guys coming from our friend doug in excel i'll definitely be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below for those who want to go over there and check that out i'll ask you guys to go over there and show our friend doug a bit of love yo there we have it guys elena hopper breaking it down revealing new plans against attorney general mary garland and his corruption i mean i don't even know if i'm going to say this is new plans this is honestly just following through with the plans that trump announced way back when he said you know we've got to do this to you know those rogue justices that have been coming after me with this weaponized state department of justice system this legal lawfare they have to pay saying that we have to make an example out of all these figures that have done this against me so that they'll never do it against anyone going forth any political opponent and honestly we can use this update as a reminder to all those folks on the left these rogue justices um these corrupt judges and figures that have been coming after donald trump this legal lawfare that you know their day will come. It's all going to come back, backfire on them. If it hasn't already, you know, we've seen that a lot with, you know, Jack Smith. Everything is backfired on him. He's tried to rush through his case, get Donald Trump tried on trial for the election day later on this year. And he's gotten exposed at every single corner. He even got his boss all tangled up in it, too, guys. We can't forget that's the reason why Attorney General Merrick Garland is sitting in this hot seat, sitting in the spotlight once again. This all stems from that illegal and criminal appointment of that special counsel, Jack Smith, the supposed special counsel that holds no merit in his office. The appointment of Jack Smith to that special counsel seat is truly coming back to haunt Attorney General Merrick Garland. We're seeing it as update after update where Attorney General Merrick Garland is being faced with questions about his Department of Justice, who has been weaponized um, to go after a political opponent. We've seen all these charade cases coming after, you know, Donald Trump. And we can definitely hold Attorney General Merrick Garland's uh, Department of Justice accountable for this weaponized state coming after a political opponent. Um, this is all because they're in the pocket of Attorney General Merrick Garland. He's coming after this guy trying to interfere with the election through his office, and he needs to be removed. Very eager to see, just like Elena Hobble was exclaiming this update, Donald Trump makes it back into that seat as president, God willing, later on this year. He's already said that he's going to come after folks like Attorney General Merrick Garland, who have been aimlessly trying to get between him and that seat as president. 
um, and make sure that they'll never be able to do it ever again, you know, and the folks who are watching from the sidelines know that this is just not okay to do. I don't know, guys. It seems like we're getting another big hint coming from Alina Haba here in this update. Something big is coming from Trump, his legal team. I don't know. seems like something more than just the retribution once Trump gets in the office later on this year, guys. Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know. Do they have something else up their sleeve for Attorney General Merrick Garland um, and his bag man, Jack Smith? Guys, definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you guys hit that share button and share this out to as many Facebook friends as possible. You guys share the truth also make sure you guys hit that like button doesn't cost one thing you guys hit that like button for your boy also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next week <laughs>